Welcome back to Still Plays Galaxy of Heroes. This is Grand Arena, first matchup, season 16. We've got ourselves 3v3. Not quite certain how much I like switching back and forth between 5v5 and 3v3 at this rate. I kind of like the old cadence a little bit more. My opponent this time around is Powder111. One, one, one. Let me show you what he's got in his for his squad arena team. Let's speed it up, Blue Stacks. All right. So he's using Darth Revan, but he has Supreme Leader Kylo. It's just not a full powered one yet. So we can expect a good chunk of these relics to be related to Kylo and that he's probably not going to have relics on some of these other characters. But when we look at the bot, this is what we're looking at here. So we've got a big advantage on most of this. We have a million extra GP. We have more gear 13 overall. He's got more gear 12, but in general, I usually have got the depth. And in terms of mods, it's not even comparable. It's just getting smashed. And then when we look at his specific roster here, Supreme Leader Kylo, no gas, no JKL. He's got a good Sith Empire squad, which we saw, but they're, they're at Relic 7. And the rest of these characters get a little thin, but he has some nice relics on the Geos and on Nest. Padme, though, no relics, and I've got the speed advantage. And then here's the biggest difference of all. He doesn't have Malevolence or the Negotiator. So we're going to jump into this, break down his defense. He did not have a account on uh, SWGOHGG, so I wasn't able to break down his history. Looks like we've got Hux, Grievous, Bosk, and JTR. So Bosk is going to be no big deal. This Without IG-100, these Grievous teams are nothing, especially because he doesn't have relics on B1. JTR at Relics, not a great defensive team, but should still have a little bit of respect. Now this bottom territory. Phoenix. Okay, we got Phoenix. Ewoks. This is just a testament to how shallow this roster is probably if, he's, if he has to resort to these kinds of teams on defense. It tells me his SOKR he probably saved for offense. We don't have to expect it on the back wall, but I'm still going to act as if it's there. Even gear 12 SOKR, we got to treat with a little bit of respect and bring some meta stuff against it. But because he has made this lower wall so weak, we can clear it pretty quickly. We don't have to make any tough decisions like we would if some of those top teams were down here like that Hux team we'd have to use something good that we might want to save but here's my defense before we begin this Darth Revan team you, kind of, you just kind of have to put it on defense in 3v3 it like gas can't handle it on his own usually uh, with uh, cleanly I should say uh, Grievous here. This is my preferred version. Night Sisters. They're just so good on defense, and you can create multiple teams. That I like to use them. Top territory here. 
This is a pretty weak one, but I knew his ships weren't, he, he wasn't able to clear my ships. So we got Newt, Kylo, the other Night Sister team. And this is something I'm starting with. I don't know if they're going to be strong enough at Gear 11, but at Relics, this is a very good team. I kind of want to see what kind of work we get out of it at this level. Really, those heroes should at least be gear 12 because they're pretty fragile. This bottom territory here. This old Ben team that I throw down. Padme, this Mon Mothma team's not great. Like, really, Wampa can clear this on its own. Uh, and then this CLS team. It's fine. Now, I think we can take... Wampa should be able to clear this one. Nest can definitely clear this lower one, so that should be two solos. I think we'll see how many solos we can do. Wampa against some of these Phoenix teams gets a little wonky, but I think without Zeb we'll be fine. These aren't really the ones that shut down the Wampa. But we'll start off with Ness, so we don't have another one of those videos where I start off with a loss because I tried things. I overextend my roster. It's a new season. We're going to start things off cleanly. We don't need any upsets in that March Madness fashion. All right, this should just be an auto. We don't have to worry about Elder. So we got nobody we really need to target. Check these audio levels. I had much better fortune than my brother. My brother had to deal with two Galactic Legends. His opponent had SLKR and Sith Eternal Emperor. But not much else. I actually think my brother got away with it. He only cleared two territories, but his opponent doesn't seem to have what he needs to clear anything. My brother's actually the one who got me into this game. He's the real Star Wars fan of the family. Not that I'm not a Star Wars fan, but he was the one who was collecting things. And he started this game before I did. He's the one who got me into it. It's got a couple months on me. But I, I my roster is pulled ahead. Because I'm the obsessive one. Alright. Let's try Wampa here. This should be a Wampa solo. But some of these Phoenix teams, I don't know. The, it's the Zetas, really. But I think it's the Zeb one that is the problem. I just want, I need to look at this second Zeta on Wampa. I think I want it, but I don't remember what it does. All right, we're fine. This is what I was expecting. It's more the 5v5 Phoenix teams that you have to be a little careful on. Now this Django team. Usually we bring like CLS up against it. But that's not an option in case SLKR is on the back wall. We're going to keep Chewy around. GTR might be who we use. Let's check the speed. It's probably not that fast. Seventy-six. 
Let's double check what we have up here. JTR would probably be better against the Bosk. This is where I get myself in trouble, where I don't I don't want to use too much, so I end up not using enough. I if we use Palpatine. Although, the Palpatine team could follow. I'm, I'm not thinking Vader's going to be part of that makeup. We're, we're just going to use Resistance. We'll find something else for Bosk. Really against Phoenix or Ewoks, I should have did one of those trooper feats. That would have been smarter. But I see those kinds of teams and I just want that solo. I get greedy. I can't remember the last time I used BB-8. He's been on defense for so long. We're not going to get to the Illuminated Destiny. Yep. I should have played that differently, a little slower. We left a lot of banners on the field. Oh, the other thing is at the end of this video, I should have said this at the beginning, we're going to play the new account. The Grand Arena there. Which should not go well, because they are not leveled up. Okay, that's this is what we were planning for. Okay. Those aren't rebel fighters. A little weird. All right, we're fine. Okay, I think this is gonna be gas, chewy fives. I need to double check that counter. So I'm gonna pause a moment. All right, we're back in business. Oh, there he was at gear 11 at sign up. This is even better than I thought. And uh, chewy, right? I did not check who I needed to target. I, we did this last time in 3v3, but... I imagine we take out Sith Trooper as quickly as possible. Oh, we got the Storm Trooper to worry about a little bit. Come on, gas. You kidding me? 
I remember this going a lot better going up against a relic one before the last time around. I should rewatch that battle. No, we're fine. I think it was something like this. Okay. Wonderful. Yeah, let's dispel that stuff. Let's see if the AoE will take him out. Perfect. Get that armor shred. Wonderful. Perfect. It would have been better off with a tougher front territory where I may have considered using up some of those counters. Like, I, I probably would have kept Gas, Fives, and Chewy, but I would have burned, like, my JKL maybe if his... If there's a Darth Revan, if he put his Darth Revan in that front territory, I definitely would have burned him. Or burned JKL to get through Darth Revan. All right. We got a couple relic teams here. We have Mon Mothma that we don't need to worry about because she isn't paired with Rebel Fighters. All right, we're going to use JKR here. Where's my where's my Jedi? Oh, that's something we want to do. I want to test some things with with, with Bo. She's not geared up yet. Maybe maybe we'll save that for next week. And this is why you need IG-100. Jolie, don't be dying on me. I don't want to up your relics. Kind of want. I. I don't think Savior's been triggered yet. Come on. Kind of surprised we're not further along on these B1 stacks. I don't know why I'm worried about Juridica right now, because that's like a, that's a gear 12 Juridica. Although, we now have to wait because we don't have a dispel. See if we can get some protection back on Jolie at least. Oof, that's all my protection.
Let's see if we can clear any of these teams with feats. It's gonna be no on any of those. No, we yeah, troopers aren't gonna be able to handle any of this. That front territory is my best chance with troopers. I feel like my Han could clear this. What are my rebel options? You know, what if we did know what this does and just in case we bring Captain Han around we're gonna hit Chewie because we're not gonna be able to stun Han with guard up on him Perfect. I think Han could have soloed that. Well, no, because we would have been stunned. All right. We still have JKL, Vader, Hux and Favsma are really the strongest teams left. We're done with Shock T on defense. Three v last time three v three, we learned how Nest can basically just solo those Shock T teams if if there isn't Rex around to take out Nest. These those Shock T teams three v three are easy. Okay, we'll probably do. This is easy with those teams. Maybe at least can get Death Trooper some kills. Like this. Should have checked if there were tenacity mods. We're kind of lucky with that. Because I just thought about it. If it was my Bosk, we would not have got a stun there. We just got to burn through Zam and this will fall apart.
I threw a fracture on Dengar. It, I don't want to do it yet. Now I want to do it. Because if any time he would stealth, he'd lose the death mark. And now he can't stealth. Although, I should have slowed that down and got some banners back. The Hux is definitely going to be tougher than the Favsma. And then Finn is no big deal, but that Vet Han can do some damage. Really, I think this should be enough. We are risking a little bit. Favsma, Kylo. We're going to throw it at him so we get another turn right away. Let's see if we can land an ability block. Perfect. Wrap this up. Actually, no, let's do Arc Trooper.
I just wanted Finn gone with that taunt and that heal. Okay. It's a little scary. That he can do some damage. Okay. Let's try and get a little protection there. They're not really doing great on the banners. Not getting a lot of protection back. We'll have to save the Mandos for other matches. Can this... No, he's gonna dodge it. See, that's what I was expecting when we hit Ray. And how is that... Oh, he gets the healing immunity. This is a gear 12 Ray. Scav Ray. I am... A little disappointed in you, Busk. Probably the finalizer on defense. He's probably not going to have much else for strong fleets. Probably kept it for... This is Mace. He doesn't have Negotiator. What? Akbar with the trio? Alright, we're going to goof off this time. We're going to use Akbar, but we're going to use like Finalizer or Radis on that lower territory. On the last record, I messed up and did not unpause my record when I went up against the last opponent who had a crazy good roster. But his Biston, he had a Relic Biston, and I just, I couldn't touch it. Not with Negotiator Malevolence on, de on my defense.
Right after this, we are going to do the new accounts Grand Arena. I think I want to do the Radis. I want to bring in the Bounty Hunters, or at least Cad Bane. And let's do Ebon Hawk. And we'll undersize it. Lando let's bring in Lando I don't know how good these pilots are and Lando's just fun if this goes poorly enough to need him which I doubt Perfect. Just, just be wondering. We're never going to get to the... Okay. Right. That's fun every time. I don't know how it affects banners though. I'm assuming not really. Other than like the number of reinforcements you call out, I forget if that does anything. All right, we are going to check feats, call it there. He's not going to clear me. His strongest team is Sith Empire, and other than that, he doesn't got much left. Let's check these feats. Yeah, next time we'll have to pay attention for these troopers. For now, we will jump into the new account. Let me pull that up. All right, here is the first Grand Arena on this new account. We're not going to do these all the time, I don't think. So the first thing to know, I and mean, if you've been keeping up with this series of videos, 
Grand Arena, of course, is my favorite game mode, but that has not been a priority while we have been working towards developing this account. We've been focused on farms primarily and beating events as quickly as possible, which means we haven't gotten to level 80 on a lot of these squads. So here's the defense. So like the fleet geo pilots, they've been developed. Brood Alpha is what we're a little behind on, but we've still got them at a decent level for this first Grand Arena. Night Sisters were developing. They aren't really ready to go yet, but that's one of the teams I want to have up and running soon. I didn't put a great fleet on defense. We kept a strong one for offense because we want those credits from clearing these territories. So it's more important to me that we clear the territories than if we win this thing. So I want to. I didn't want to go too. I don't want to use my best stuff on defense. Then we got Basila and Newt. This Newt is deceptive. That that team needs way more ability mats. We're going to go here. We are going to use my Palpatine here. I don't know if it's the way we want to go. Merciless Massacre is going to be my first Zeta, at, but that's not until level 84. This is what I'm thinking. Although, I don't know, I feel like, we'll see how this goes 3v3. Without the, the Zeta, I, I've been saying this in other videos, I'm, Basil is not all that scary. We just gotta land this ability block, great. We are going to use this. Now we see how many of these we land. That's great. As soon as we clear Yoda, we're good. The Kylo team, though, he has in the other territory is still going to be good. Problem is we're going to get very shallow pretty quickly. Because this is my arena team. This is the best stuff we got going. And he has most of his roster much better set up for Grand Arena. He has his guys at level 80 for the most part, which is not true for me. Yeah, you see these guys here. Like we get shallow real fast. I more care about clearing fleets. I don't even know if we'll be able to get a full clear here. Because this might take us a couple shots. Phoenix might be our best option here. I think this is what we do. We at least get a little bit of recovery with Chopper. Or we get protection up with Chopper. I think maybe we wanted Zeb. I think we wanted Zeb.
כן. Normally, well, normally I wouldn't be taking Phoenix up against against First Order. Perfect. Let's throw this here just in case. That God, it does no damage. After playing with like a developed account, this is just a different experience. Really, I'd like to do this stuff on Twitch, but we're not doing any of that stuff until we monetize this account. We upgrade the internet speed. All right, well, my fleet is going to easily clear his stuff. I'm not concerned about that because he doesn't have geos, which means this here. Yeah, whatever. Actually, let's just clear it. I think we take out Kylo first. Okay. Phoenix or Night Sisters? That might be better against Phoenix. You might want to do Bounty Hunters, is what I'm thinking. I shouldn't even use Jane. I should use Grief. Grief's got more ability mats than Dengar. I'm just so used to using Dengar. Yeah, I definitely should have brought Dengar. And we don't even have the double tap yet. Come on, go. Go down. 
Should have saved it. See, I really wish we had that ability right now. That's good timing though. see how this goes I um, don't think we have enough damage She's going to put the heat. Take him out. Yes. I don't want the backup to be on Ezra. Alright. We got a nice full clear here. I actually think we have a victory. T I don't know. The fleet I put down is so weak. I don't think it... Is anything really having Geos in this opponent, not having Geos, I wonder if that will be enough of a difference. But really what I want the most out of this Grand Arena are these credits right there. I am in need of those. All right. Hopefully that is two wins. It's at least one win. So we will call it there. Thank you for watching. It's good to be back in another Grand Arena. Be safe out there, everyone, and be excellent to each other.